Let's take a joystick, in this case a PS3 joystick, but the process works with any type of console, Xbox One, PS4, Xbox, any type. So let's open the joystick and see what's inside. I the first thing I need to do is remove the battery because I don't want to break the circuit and put it apart. Now we have to look for the motors. These little motors are the ones that make the vibration of the joystick and is connected on the circuit here and here. So let's take 30 centimeters of copper cable and pass it behind the circuit all the way in on the right so that later I'm sure that I can close again the joystick and solder these cables on the connection of the motor. I'm going to use a soldering iron to do this. So one cable on the right and one cable on the left. These cables are a bit too long, I need to cut it about 4 or 5 cm, so without hesitation I can use some scissors to do this. Now let's take a small relay, this is a 3 volt relay and inside of it we can find a coil, a copper, a copper coil and some contacts. I'm going to solder the short cables to the coil of the relay and the longer cables instead to the normally open contact of the relay. I use also a soldering iron to do this. Now, pull the, the cables and find a place to hide the relay. Here is a great place. Cut the excess of the cables. And now let's take this. This is a female connector, but you can use any type of connector. I'm going to solder it to the cables here and here. Push everything inside the joystick again. And now we can see if we can close everything again together. But first, remember to put the battery. So as you can see, the joystick closed close without any type of problem. Uh, I secure everything with the screws. Also two screws on the top to secure the female connector. Now let's take a big relay. This is a 12 volt relay and here is the schematic. So a, cap a copper cable on top of the joystick and this goes to the coil of the relay and to a transformer. So what is a relay and how it works? It works like a button, but instead of using a finger, it, uh, the relay closes when it's activated by an electric signal. So I put a small relay inside the joystick and this is activated when it takes the electricity for spinning the motor. When this relay close, give electricity to this bigger relay. This bigger relay is so big that can handle without any problem the electricity that comes from the house. So I can activate a big motor. I want to replicate the vibration of the hands, but this time I want to shake all my body. That's why I'm using such a big motor. To make a vibration motor, you need to put an unbalanced weight on the top. And the first thing I need to do is find something that have the same dimension of the shaft of the motor. So this nut works great. I take a screw and I push it inside an old tuna can and I screw the nuts inside. I made with some more metal mesh um, this. This is like a stopper and will stop after the mold. Uh, I put inside the, behind the stopper some cement and I push it with my fingers. This will stop the mold. Okay, now I melted in the kitchen almost one kilo of lead and I put it inside the mold. I wait about 20 or 30 minutes that the mold gets colder and I can handle it and take away all the things I put inside the mold. So let's take away the stopper and take away also the big screw that is on the bottom. Now the mold is free and I'm quite happy on the result. It looks like almost like the small motor I showed you earlier. So I can put it on the top of the shaft and make sure to stop it with a big screw so it doesn't fly away and kill me. I only need to take the chair, this is my favorite one, and find a way to attach the motor on it. Yes, on the back I put a piece of wood and works great. This is the result. And just test it on the TV to see how it works. Okay, let's go.
That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the project. And as always, a like is always appreciated and helps a lot my channel growing. So thank you very much for everything and leave it with my two past projects. How to make a magnet ball to charge your iPhone, which is a very unique project. And also how to make the best flying toy ever. So check it out and see you next week with another do-it-yourself tutorial. Ciao, ciao.